Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another achievement guide in Assassin's Creed Origins Curse of the Pharaoh DLC. This achievement is Sting in the Tail, and it's to complete all five circuit locations throughout the game. There's four in each of the afterlife worlds, and one in the actual real world. Now, I recommend you need to be level 55 to do this achievement, as you've got to defeat level 58 enemies in each of these locations. I used a light bow that got me health on hit to benefit myself from using this, as well as getting the new ability that when you get hits in a row with a light bow, each hit becomes stronger and stronger. It just made it easy and quick to get rid of these level 58 enemies throughout this. So, the first location I already completed, which is just a Roman camp on the real world, so I'll leave the location on the screen. So, you just got to open a chest and kill a captain that's level 58. Like any location, you've just got to complete the activities that pop up. Each of the other ones in the afterlife, I'll leave them throughout this video so you can see where the location is and where you need to go to complete this achievement. In each of those locations in the afterlife, all they are are just killing level 58 scorpion, which again, just do what I do here. I jumped on a horse, came in with a sword until it knocks you off, and then I start using the light bow and just kind of backing off. Pretty easy once you do that. It makes, you know, these level 58 enemies very, very quick to deal with. And it's pretty much as easy as that. And once you complete all of the five circuit locations, the achievement will unlock and you'll get a nice little new outfit with that. So it's really as simple as that, it's a huge 100 gamer score achievement, so it's definitely just a benefit once you're level 55 to do it. You could probably do a level 54, it would just take you a little while, be a bit more of a risk, whereas at level 55 I found it, you know, pretty damn easy. Especially just shooting them with the light bow and the new abilities and stuff. So anyway guys, if you're looking for these locations, I'll push them out through the rest of this video and show off this new outfit at the end here. Hope you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. Thank you again for watching everybody and I'll see you all next time.